What up, though? It's your boy Jay Hustle. We getting ready for the snowstorm. Uh, the first, I think it's the second snowstorm of 2020. Uh, we up here in Detroit. They say it's supposed to be about one to five. I think it said two to five inches or something like that. So um, it's much needed. Um, slowly getting back on course. I needed to snow probably about maybe one more time this month, which it looked like it might happen. Um, so yeah, man, just doing all my prep, like I always say. You know, before every storm, you know, I'm just checking my truck, make sure the truck good, make sure my car jumper, my battery jumper is on, you know what I'm saying? And if you guys ain't got a car jumper and you out here doing snow, you crazy. You better get one. You know, air, I got one that's an air compressor, uh, a car jumper. Um, it do all kind of stuff, man. It charge my phone, everything. I love it, man. I never... I never leave home without it, man. It stay right behind my seat at all times. It stay right behind my seat at all times, y'all. This boy, I could plug up anything. It's survival, man. Anything could happen. I might have to do something, bust a move, charge my phone, charge everything, man. Jump my car and, and inflate my tire all at the same time. Gotta have that on deck. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so right now, man, I'm just at Checkers right now, which is just a burger joint up here in Detroit, man. I'm just really just getting some food, you know what I'm saying? Because I know I'm going to be out here all night, probably into the morning, getting this money, you know what I mean? So, I'm just filling up my body. Yup. Yeah. All right. So yeah, man, I mean, honestly, I should be eating healthy, but I've been wanting a burger for a while, so I'm about to get one. I'm gonna burn the calories up anyway. It ain't like I'm fat, so it ain't gonna do nothing to me. I'm only 175 pounds, so it ain't gonna do shit to me. But what's up with y'all, man? Y'all ready for this snow? Y'all ready to get it? You know what I'm saying? My wife's birthday on Valentine's Day, so I gotta make something happen. You know how that go. It's tax time. A lot of people doing videos about taxes. Eventually, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have somebody come do mine. You know what I'm saying? All right. How are you too? You know what I'm saying? Got my burgers, my snow food. Yeah, buddy. And uh, yeah, so I came across a, a opportunity last snowstorm, really not last snowstorm, but ever since I've been doing snow for the past almost two and a half years, my gloves always get wet. And I hate that. I hate wet feet and I hate wet gloves. So you know, I'm always an opportunist. I'm always, I always just go to Home Depot to find out what I can buy. So these, right here are really grilling gloves but they kind of like the material on my boots though you know what i'm saying like it's just water resistant and um everything so they say they good in 120 degrees fahrenheit and um i think they said they good for below temperatures too so they're good for moving cold stuff too I wish I still had the rest of the packaging. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, we're gonna give them a shot. I think they're gonna work good. Um, like I said, I, I'm always at Home Depot. I'm always at Lowe's, unfortunately. Giving them my money, but... You know, you gotta make you gotta make it happen. So yeah. And um Yeah man, just looking forward to the snow. I love doing snow man because 
it's a good day for me, man. I can make uh, I can make probably about after I pay my people, I could probably make about a thousand dollars tonight if I'm lucky. If I that's if I'm able to get to just about everybody, which I should be able to. So that'd be cool, you know. So um, I do got a couple people that do pay me monthly. Um, I kind of set them as my priority. Everybody is a priority, really. But you know, those are people that you know you just you got to take care of because they already pay advance. Um, I didn't have a lot of people this year pay in advance because I thought it was going to be a bad winter. Which it still potentially can be. I mean, we really still only in February, but realistically, we only got, you got February, you got March, and then you got whatever April throw you. So, right now, the people who got everybody paying monthly really winning right now because you probably only worked, if you in Michigan, you probably already only worked probably maybe two, three times this year, I'm guessing. So we figure my average rate is 45 to $50 a plow. So, you know, I hear the average rate for a monthly rate is 350. So I'm considering doing that next year. I'm considering doing that next year. Just have everybody pay in advance, but in my uh, area, it's gonna be kind of hard because, well, it probably won't be hard, but some people in Detroit uh, just pay per push. So they like it that way. So I kind of roll like it, you know, I kind of roll like that. It's really a gamble because you could go through what I'm going through right now where you're really not getting a lot of snow, but if it do snow, you know what I'm saying? You're good. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's give and take. You know, I, I thought I did an okay job of trying to balance it out. But, uh, picked up the new Husky gloves. And this is the new glove Husky, which I'm going to let one of my workers use. I was trying to uh, replicate this. And I found out these work pretty good because these don't get as wet as much. So um, I'm gonna see what's up. My nephew, he supposed to come help me today too. He had a basketball practice right now or leaving basketball practice. So if he helped me, you know, I said I throw him a couple of dollars to come help me out. We're gonna try to knock out about 30 houses tonight. You know, if it become more, it become more. But I really. I would be cool with stopping at 30. I'm cool with 30. I make my margin of about a thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? You know, I might come in a little under, I might come in a little over. You know, you know, there's always that lady outside who say, hey, how much you charge? And then, you know, if she next door, I might throw like a five dollars off, you know what I'm saying, just to get the clientele rolling in that area. Um, but yeah. Last snowstorm was crazy, man. It was crazy. Um, but they say this one might not be as bad, but it's always bad, man. Whenever you're on the road and it's snowing, it's always bad. Hey, they may say it ain't that bad, but it's always bad because we the ones out there working. And the people that's, people most of the times, a lot of our clients just in their house just looking outside saying, well, what's taking so long? What's taking so long? You ever get that text while you while you out here plowing? What's taking so long? Can you can you hurry up and do mines? Can you like everybody just think like we just supposed to be flying through this stuff? Like man, you know how hard it is to drive through a blizzard or a snowstorm safely and get there? It's crazy, man. People don't understand, dog. People don't understand, man. So I kind of went through that with a lot of my new clients this year. Uh, so you know, I try to just tell everybody, you know, hey man, we get there as the road permits. You know, say so I appreciate all my clients, but I got some of them, man, that just think I'm supposed to just be there at a drop of a dime when the snowstorm. You know, it don't work like that. You know, I have to let people know respectfully, like, hey man, we, I 
my top priority is safety. You know, I'm not about to wreck my whole trailer and my truck for $50. It's not about to happen. You know? And then I know, I, I wonder if a lot of you guys saw my last video, this is my policy, where, uh, where a lady, I showed up to her property and her snow was already done and I still had to charge her a service fee even though we didn't do the snow and she had a big problem with that. So she's no longer my client. I wish her the best of luck. But uh, she's no longer my client, which I'm fine with. You know, sometimes you gotta, sometimes you just gotta stand up when you're a business owner, man. You, you know, people that don't take their business seriously, man, they just let people run over them and tell them what to do and all that other stuff, man. You gotta, you gotta tell these people, man, what time it is, man. People would just run over, man. You treat, you you train people on how to teach you, on how to uh, treat you, man. You know what I'm saying? If you you gotta just sometimes you just gotta let people know, man. You gotta be willing to lose that client when you stand up for your policy, man. And it's sad. I don't want to lose no clients, but you know, you just sometimes you gotta just tell them what time it is, man. You know what I'm saying? And it don't be nothing personal. You know that's hey this just that's my policy so i'm almost home truck riding good um i'll be having my new truck pretty soon hopefully by uh march so uh looking forward to that and yeah man so i'm gonna try to break out my other husker barn of the night uh, i was supposed to return that errands snow blower because I didn't like it but uh I think I might take my other husk runner out tonight I'm still debating um I'm gonna get some hopefully I have some footage for y'all probably either probably Sunday morning or Monday morning depending upon how tired I am when I get in I'm not gonna edit no video uh I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm not gonna put no intro on this next video. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna bang it in my driveway. I'm just gonna throw it out there, man. And y'all can do whatever. You know what time it is, man. We out here. It's snowing. It's about to be a snowstorm. So I'm not about to do nothing crazy to it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna just get it to y'all. Y'all throw the like, throw the subscribe in there. And, uh,. Yeah, man. Snowstorm of February. And uh, hopefully it's going to work out. You know, everybody that's going out tonight, be safe. Um, you know, safety first, man. That's all I can say. Safety first, man. Safety, safety, safety. And uh, yeah, man. Safety. Safety above anything. And, uh,. Godspeed. Shout out to everybody new to my channel. I appreciate your uh, subscriptions and y'all checking in on me. And uh, I have a video for y'all real soon. I write one. I'll let y'all.